zoom in on one in five, four, three, two, and cue Leslie, please. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check Please Bay Area. Check Please is different. We have real people from the community coming to talk about their favorite restaurants. The easy way to explain it is like it's Yelp before Yelp became a thing. This is amazing. It's a Michelin star with I can eat with my hand. How yes. neat is that? Yeah. It takes a village to make Check Please. So we start Leslie in her chair. Between the production crew, the technical crew, the field crew, editors, it's like a jigsaw puzzle, making sure that all the pieces are in place. It's controlled chaos. <laughs> the routine when I come in for a shoot day, we're doing sometimes between two and three shows a day. I bring in wardrobe and jewelry that I collect from all over the world, getting into hair and makeup. Uh, I'm going over scripts with the producers to finalize those, meeting the guests. You're gorgeous, that's it? And getting onto set. There's just a lot of keeping track of objects, I would say. I spend a lot of my time buying cheese. Did you touch it? <laughs> because we use real cheese on set um, as a prop, and we arrange it with some fruit sometimes, um, with fake bread. I, I think that's a kind of a running joke, that we have this foam bread. What comes out on the set and what goes on to tape for the ultimate show is always a surprise. Papas fritas, AKA French fries. <laughs> And that's the exciting part for me. We want to capture people at their best. I have had awkward moments where we've had a little confrontation between two people. A small portion, watered down, and not memorable at all. And you have to diffuse the situation a bit. Did they order wrong? Oh, uh, Did I think Did they order so. wrong? I think. When we go out into the restaurants to film the dishes that everyone had talked about in the studio, we spend the day there. We start off interviewing the chef or the restaurateur, then film the close-ups of the dishes that the guests spoke about. It's a very small space, and they have service beginning in an hour and a half, and here we are taking up all the space. So working with the chefs and the restaurant staff, it's, they're amazing. They bring these dishes out every eight minutes or less. And then we spend time in the evening during the dinner service with diners enjoying their meals, filming them taking that bite. We go into the kitchen, we see flames leaping. Then we have to bring everything back and edit it together to make the show what it is. It takes about a week on my part to edit a whole Check Please show. You get all the video from the producers and then I get it to time and I make it look scrumptious. The most challenging thing about editing this show is watching my hunger factor. I get very hungry. There's a moment when the fork goes in and it's you just want to eat that thing. Now we have three guests and each one... We're so fortunate to have Leslie Sprocco as our host. She has a, a photographic memory, which I find very impressive. It's amazing the detail that she can hold in her brain. Oh, and that sure is true. Never mind. She works so well with the crew. She works so well with everyone involved here at KQED. And then with the guests around the table, she is the one who puts them at ease and really draws out the information so that they're able to talk about their restaurants. It's getting the best out of the guests, making them feel comfortable. Comfortable. Forgot your fish dish, no worries. And not to worry about the TV cameras around, just to enjoy talking to one another. Was your plate empty? Um, <laughs> actually, we just want to have a real chat around a table and let people kind of peek into what we're talking about. And when that happens, the show is brilliant. The little cup of miso ranch dressing, yes. which I want to buy by the bottle <laughs> and carry around Absolutely. everywhere. Yeah, I want to wear those perfumes. Yeah. The thing that makes Check Please so successful is that it's a part of all of us. Anyone can be on Check Please. Anyone who has a passionate story to tell about their favorite eatery. It doesn't matter if it's a little hole in the wall, it doesn't matter if it's a two star Michelin. People like that it's, it represents the local Bay Area, it's just regular people. Learning about people's cultures through what they eat, I find is a really great insight into humanity. And Namaste. And when you go out, meet mom and pa preparing food for diners, it just warms your heart to be able to tell those stories to everyone.